Mach 1, demonstrating the ability to surprise, surprise the enemy. From the left and up there behind the clouds, Mongo is performing a vertical reversal to set up for a demonstration of the incredible thrust to weight of the Hornet. As the Hornet reaches show center, it will pitch up through the vertical and execute a maneuver known as the double Immelman. During the maneuver, the pilot will be subjected to six times the force of gravity. This demonstration illustrates the incredible pitch authority and vertical maneuverability of the Hornet. Mississippi in March of 1995. He since accrued over 2,400 flight hours, including more than 2,100 in that Hornet. He has amassed 450 arrested landings aboard Navy aircraft carriers. Mongo has also flown 25 combat missions into Afghanistan and Iraq. In a very tight space, gives it a tremendous tactical advantage. From the left, the Hornet minimum radius turn. Extended. It is that tail hook that allows the F-A-18 to land and stop at under 400 feet. At the completion of the pass, Mungo will demonstrate the maneuverability and power of the Hornet in a half Cuban 8. now performing a repositioning maneuver to align his aircraft with the show line. He will reach show center at just over 300 miles wide. speeds, but the Hornet remains completely controllable through the use of two flight control computers. 
The pilot will complete the slow speed pass by selecting maximum afterburner and pitching the aircraft up through the vertical as he finishes with a maneuver known as the half Cuban 8. is demonstrating the technique used by every Navy pilot to show their slow their aircraft and prepare for landing. The Hornet will approach from the left 500 feet as you just did. Uh, once again, as Mongo comes around here, I think all the ladies in the house should know that Mongo is a single man who enjoys long walks on the beach and driving his Porsche. He is moving to Hawaii soon and is currently looking for the right girl to join him on his journey. You can find him in the Ward Party 10 after this show for any uh, interested ladies out there. It takes many dedicated and talented young individuals to maintain, fix, and fly these sophisticated machines. The Hornet demonstration crew here for today's show are crew chief, senior chief, Thomas Jackson from Greensboro. The, when you get down there, there's a road that goes right between all those airplanes. Turn right on that road. The officer's club is on your left. There's a lot of parking, and it is open to all hands. All hands. We welcome you to the subway. The subway proudly presents the 2004 NAS Oceana Air Show in pursuit of liberty. Michael Gullion is uh, in the air, and uh, do I have a moment before I'm going to talk to him? Define a moment, I guess. Is he ready to do this? Oh, okay, okay. We're just going to wait for the FA-18 Hornet to go by. We do want to thank uh, Subway, our uh, name sponsor of the show, and also Wendy's, the title sponsor of the Twilight Show last night. Wendy's. Uh, did a, a great job for us and we thank them for that. Okay? I'll tell you what, if you bring the radio up, I'm going to talk to Michael Goulian aloft at this very moment. Oh. 
Show you how deep the rabbit hole. 